chat. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> I haven't abandoned anything. I don't think. I'm here. I'm here. It's been a week. Streams have been out of normal. Out of normal? Not normal. Out of... They have not been their normal schedule. Stream schedule just hasn't existed. I apologize. <laughs> That's kind of why we're having this stream, just to catch you guys up some. Um, I've missed streaming. Some stuff's kind of been going on, though, in my actual life. So I had to take some time away and deal with that a little bit first. So that way I could come back and kind of have a clear mind and be able to think and be able to focus kind of on what I'm doing. So, the stream today will be just kind of talking, very chill, um, with The Sims. I'm going to show you guys what I've done in The Sims as well because that has been, as you can see from the title, I've coped through The Sims. So, <laughs> I've been on there a lot. So we're gonna look through there. Um, I think it's gonna be good though. I don't know how long the stream will last. I don't really care how long the stream will last either. So I'm just gonna talk. I'm just gonna do. That's gonna be all. That will be all. But I hope that in the time that I've been going, you guys have all been doing well. I haven't been the most active really on anything. Twitter, I've been kind of active on Twitter, not as much as I usually am, but I've been, I've been kind of active on Twitter. Discord, I, previously I had Discord on my phone, but that brought me a lot of stress, so I deleted Discord from my phone. So, now it's only on my desktop, so I have to come to my computer and actually like get on there to see everything, so I haven't been active on the server, apologize for that as well, or Twitch, because like I said, stuff's been going on. But, let me get rid of the music and get up the sims. Where is it? There it is. Okay. So, let's just kind of, we're going to bounce around. This is not going to be focused at all. It's going to be very like, talk about this, talk about that, da 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 da, -da you know? Which is, it's kind of normal. So, I'm going to introduce you to all the families I've made. I've built so many houses. I've made so many families. Oh my god, it's been great. I bought... <laughs> I bought another pack. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I bought San... How do you say that? Mashuno? San Mashuno? I think that's how you say it. I bought... I bought that, like, two weeks ago. Ish? Is it two weeks ago? Yeah, I think it was two weeks ago. Or maybe it was just a week ago. No! I've had this for a week. My life has been a wreck for two weeks. That, okay, sorry I get those confused. <laughs> sorry. I get those a little bit mixed up. But yeah. Oh, I want to do a stream, by the way, soon. And I want to make, like, other streamers and put them in the Soul Valley. Or Del Soul Valley, sorry. Because I think that'd be kind of funny. Because the whole reason we make other Sims is for NPCs that we kind of know because I think that's so much more fun than being like who is this random like entity that I've never seen in my life I don't know you I don't know you what are you doing here so I think it's it's more fun to have people you quote unquote know some you act, like some actually know personally and then some are like internet no <laughs> which is not really but eh, good enough you know you know do you know that you know I don't think you know. Um, Willow Creek. I want to bulldoze Willow Creek at some point and completely rebuild it, like, from scratch. I think that'd be kind of fun. Uh, Oasis Springs. Ooh, I just hit my mic. Nothing has changed there. I love that little dinosaur. He's doing so much work. Um, Newcrest. Okay, I'll show you guys Newcrest first. God, I, I love the Sims so much. I've downloaded more CC. I've made my sim look more like me. I finally found hair that it's like, it's more spot on than the other one. I think you guys saw the last one. Yeah, 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 you did. This one is more spot on than the last one. So, well just, I don't think you guys have seen any of this. I don't think you have. You might have seen a couple of these houses. 
but um, not not this many. <laughs> so we'll start here. This is the library. I like it a lot. It's kind of ugly on the inside, but the outside looks great. And it's not like anyone's actually going to come here. I know I'm not. So that's fine. I hate this. I built this today just because it's like I need something to do. So we'll, we'll get to that later. I'm probably going to tear it down at some point and rebuild it, but not today. Not right now. Anyways, this is the library. New Crest Books. Very creative. I know. I like the outside of it a lot. I I don't really know how I feel about all this empty space, but I don't know what I could do for it. I mean, I, obviously more landscaping. I should do that. Like bushes, you know? Bushes would be good. But let's let's look inside. So we get there's so many bathrooms in this place. I don't know why I gave a library eight bathrooms and showers. Because like real life speaking, no one's gonna use these. I feel like most libraries would have like two. But when I was building this, I was like, you know what? I want sims that are just kind of like wandering around to have access to a bathroom and a shower and things. So I put showers in there because at the time I was like, you know what? This is a great idea. This is a lovely plan. And now that I've explained it to myself again, I believe that. So we're keeping it. Chess tables because chess a library just a fish tank because kids love there's no fish in there 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 are just there's just no fish um i was thinking that if you know someone brings their kids they would just like to look at the fish and i hope they like looking at gravel because there's no fish there so the imaginary fish they can enjoy those game tables because for funsies I hate that I put the same flower on all these tables, but at the time, I loved it. I don't know what I was thinking, and I'm still not going to explain myself. What is that? Oh, it's a fountain. This is a wreck. <laughs> I'm aware. However, I do like this little nook. It's kind of... It, I just did not finish this at all. This is so barren. I never finished it. These are okay. This air, this side's fine. If you just look here, this is fine. I think I just need to stick with building houses. I think that would be the smartest idea on my part. Because I don't even want to show you guys the pool. I don't even know what a... I've never even been to a YMCA. But I was like, you know what? That sounds cooler than just saying pool. We're not looking at that one. I'm ashamed. This coffee shop, though? I kind of like it. I'm not gonna lie, this coffee shop's kinda cool, kinda neat, kinda, kinda nice. I built this, I don't know when I built this. I built it though, at some point. <laughs> As you can see, it does not fit in at all with the neighboring household. <laughs> it just does not look the same. It does not. Parking spots, but 3D, so this way if you don't park correctly, you just hit a curb. Um, it's encouragement for getting better at parking. I really like this place. It does look like a Starbucks, which I'm not the biggest fan of because I was like, I don't want it to look like an existing place, but it kind of ended up doing that anyways. But it's fine. I actually like it. It's kind of huge <laughs> and crowded compared to most um, coffee shops. But I still think it's nice, you know? I gave them plenty of awards to show the Sims that come here that, hey, you won't get food poisoning. Maybe. Like, there are no promises, but this gold plaque sure does look nice in the center. It's not actually a plaque, it's a check. Oh, okay, I don't have debug them. It's a check. I also put a cupcake machine in here. I've never used one of these. But I thought, you know what, that'd be kind of fun. People have, like, bakeries, you know? Bathrooms, mmm. Then I put a bar outside. <laughs> I don't know of any coffee shops that have bars. <laughs> Um, in the back. But I was like, you know what? This one's going to. And it's my world, so I'm going to do what I want. I added a lemon. Because I thought that would be great just to look at. It's kind of on its, like, on the top of it. Which is kind of scary, because it should not be. But that's just how it is. I put three refrigerators in here. I don't have any, like, I wouldn't say industrial. 
like industrial kitchenware, I guess is a better way to say it. Yeah, I don't have any of that. So it's just like, you know what? This looks kind of modern. Stick it in there. That works. It's fine. It's a fridge. It's not like you can use it because I don't have the thingy. <gasps> Yiggy, how you doing? I am. I can't. Okay. Quick little explanation here. Yiggy's away from home currently. And that means I cannot talk to Yiggy as I normally do. Therefore, I am lonely. I am so very lonely. <laughs> but it's okay, because I'm just going to do this and talk to myself and act like it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Right? Exactly. Thank you. Okay. How should I explain this? Okay, so this house right here, you see it wiggle, this right here, this, these two right here. So from here over, those are all the flower family homes. They're split up, made into couples. I don't remember if I did that on the stream or not. I think I did, but I don't remember. Then these two houses here are just separate sims that I made on my own time. I will show you. This is... uh. This is Sybil and Ollie from the Flower Family. And they have two children. They are lovely. I will show you. I will show you. <laughs> I I really like their house. It's supposed to be like a um like a town home. I was trying to base it kind of off of San Francisco townhomes, but I've never been to San Francisco or seen a town home. That's, like, good enough to have it in my memory to be like, mm, yes, it looks like this. Build it like this. So it just kind of looks bad. But I'm sticking with it because I'm too lazy to undo it. So, yeah, like, there's this entire just half of this house that was, like, meant for um, another family. Because, like, you half it. It's straight down the middle. It's just halved. Which, at the time... A lot of these things that I've built, I'm realizing, are like, at the time, this was a great decision. And now, it's just not. But it's okay. So, like, they have these little stupid back porches. Like, well, what are you going to do back here? Scrape your knees? Like, what? But it's fine. Yeah, that's a great angle. Let me put this down. <laughs> okay, so we have, like, a little dine. It's not little. We have this big dining table. There we go. I like building entryways in houses and apartments. And you will see that. I've had so much fun with the apartments. Oh my god. I've loved it so much. But I put entryways in pretty much every single home that I build. I think it's an obsession. I will continue it. <laughs> this stove has caught on fire. Um, as most things do in my Sims worlds. Got a little dollhouse there. You go up to the second level. It's an office. A little... I hate, like, skill set rooms. I just think they look crowded and, like, disheveled. But I needed to do something with the space. And I was like, yeah, you know what? It's fine. Just throw some stuff in there. This is the actual child's room. Then this is the toddler's room. The baby's name is Sylvie. Or the toddler. The toddler's name is Sylvie. And the child is... Uh, Simonette. I do remember that. I remembered. I remembered. Then you go up another level, you got a guest bedroom. You've got a little seating area, as if you would need that. But you might, after walking up two flights of stairs. That's a lot of stairs. And then you got the, uh, the master bedroom. I like it. There's also like a little, um, like a little, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? What do you call it? Balcony. I could not remember what a balcony was called. Oh my god. Then we have the flower apartment. This house is... Um, let's see. Who is the house? It has Parker, Penny, Willow, Levi, Lily, Austin, and Alia. That's who all lives here. Also, I need to put in a uh, an elevator here. I should do that. Because that makes so much more sense than like 17 million stairs. Because it is an apartment. And you would expect to see an elevator there, right? Right? I think so. Also, I've developed couples with some of the 
so like Ollie and Sybil are a couple. Um, Parker and Penny are a couple. And then there's there's not any more couples in this apartment or in that house. There's more couples on the other side, so we will get to that. Who lives here? Parker and Penny live here. I don't... I have not decorated these at all. Like, I put beds in them and called it a day. I, okay, this is Lily's apartment. And I was like, you know what? I am going to decorate this one. But I decorated them before I put the Sims in them. For some reason. So, like, I just picked random apartments. It's like, mm, yes, this will look good. Let me decorate this. But I love this apartment. I love this so much. Like, this, look at this room. It's so nice. I love these mirrors also. Like, the, they just sit on the floor. You prop them against the wall. They're perfect. Love them. And then I don't think I decorated anyone else's rooms. No. I'll get to it. Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not, though. Not right now. I can't be bothered. Hmm. Yes, we'll go here. This is the Tulip Sisters. I also gave them all pets. So, Penelope's pet is Cleo. Winona's pet is Whisper. Um, Oleander's pet is Oscar. And Reina's pet is Lulu. This house, I really like this house. Would I live there? No. Would I like to, like... Would I enjoy looking at it driving by? Absolutely. It's really nice, but it just does not fit in with the rest of the neighborhood at all. Which, that's fine. Who needs to fit in? It's a house. What's it gonna do? Cry about it? No. But it's very nice. It's a... I have a problem when I build Sims houses because I don't understand how the scale of them works exactly. So, <laughs> I just build enormous houses. <laughs> And the Sims just look so small trying to walk around them. It's really funny. It's really, really funny. But I like this house a lot. It's really, really nice. I feel like it's it's pretty well set up, too. So, like, there's plenty of space in both the front and backyard. So, yeah, we'll show these first. But why do they have so much food setting out? You give a Sim a grill and they just go haywire. Living room. It's, see, it's really open. I don't know how to break up open space. I hate open concept. Um, like, my entire life, my homes have been, like, that I've actually lived in are all open concept. And I just don't like it. Because you, you've got to have, like, huge furniture and just, or a lot of clutter. Or just really nothing. And either way, it just looks weird to me. And yet, I built that accidentally. Kind of. I wanted it to be modern. And to me, modern equals barren and sad. And I think I did that. I think I did that. I hate these little curtains, but I put them there. I don't know why. There's a little office there. Dining room. Kitchen. Sitting room. Bathroom. There's a closet. I forgot what it was called. Living room. Seating. Like a breakfast nook, I guess you could call it. Back porch is pretty nice. I like it. It's small, but it's it's nice. It's adequate size back porch. Got your landing area. Another that bathroom is so large and empty and sad. I put the pool here. <laughs> I feel like in an actual house, this would be the worst decision anyone could ever make. But I like how it looks, so I did it. Everything is color coded in this house, as it should be for the Tulip Sisters. So this is Raina's room, red. Wow, creative. This is Winona's room, sad and gray. <laughs> This is Penelope's room. Very nice. Yeah, you will see um, how I, I guess you could say headcanon. Is it a headcanon? Is that what this is? How I, I guess, headcanon all my sims. Like, um, like with flags and things like that. Which I think is very interesting. I also, um, for this household specifically, and a few others, I make their pets look like the sims. Or how I feel like it would match their personalities the best. And then this is Oleander's room. It's very orange and spunky. Lively. So, it's very nice. I enjoy it. Very cool, very cool. What's next? Oh, I know who we're going to do next. We're going to go here. Remember Doug? You guys remember Doug? I gave Doug a dog. And this, <laughs> this dog's name is Cash. 
I said I make the pets look like their owners because I saw a thing. I've seen it multiple times. I don't remember where I even saw it the first time, but it's like pets look like their owners. So I was like, you know what? Heck yeah, they do. Let's make that the only true thing ever. I don't like this house. This house is weird. I don't know why I did this, <laughs> but look, I made like octagonal rooms. The concept is cool, but the execution is awful. You know what? I think actually all of it is awful. None of this matches Doug's personality either. But I just put him here because I was like, you know what? I don't like him enough to put him anywhere else. <laughs> I don't like Doug. I don't. I'll be honest. I don't like that man. I don't like him. He's a businessman. Something about him irks me. And I can't tell you what because I don't know. Also, the roof does this. So, <laughs> you can't see. He's got his privacy on like on lock you will never know it's a very small house though very small very compact reminds me of like 2000s like early 2000s architecture especially like um ooh, what's a good example like 2000s tv shows and movies i feel like you would see that in anything from 1995 to like 2002 2004 definitely connor and daniela they are a couple i i love daniela I love her. So much. She's great. Big fan. Big, big fan. I also love the house. This was the first house I built to, like, redo Newcrest. And I really like it. I think it's very cute. It looks like kind of more like it belongs in, um... What is it called? It's the place with the pets. The pet place. The place where uh, Yiggy and I live. Wait, where'd the plant go what is it called uh uh whatever it belongs it looks like it belongs in the, in the pet place to me but i really like it small it i like the roof a lot it's very cool the inside looks just like the outside <laughs> Oh, but we got living room, entryway, big mirror. You will see that all the time, everywhere you go. Empty wall. There was something there, and it's gone now. I put like a um, a uh, curio, not a curio cabinet, but like a. I can show you exactly what it was, probably if I can find it. Which one of you? Yeah. It was the thing with the plates on top of it. It's from the pet pack. What? What is it called? I don't remember. But I know what it looks like, but I have no idea where I found it. It's probably not going to be in decorations. What was it called? It's not going to be in surfaces. Surely not. Oh well. Whatever. It, there was something there. It's not there anymore. It's fine. I don't play this. I don't play these sims, so who cares? I love the bedspread. You will see that. I really like this bathroom also. It's kind of weird, but I like it a lot. I was actually building this house during one of um, Nyar's streams. So it was, really, it was really nice. I remember that. Then you go upstairs, a little office, TV. I didn't know what to put up here. Probably should have put a bedroom up here or like a, a spare bedroom, but I didn't. And knowing me, I will probably come in at some point and just rebuild everything here like every couple of months I'm like okay time to redo this because i don't like it anymore this house i hate this house i will tell you this right now i do not like this house however i wanted a cat family a family devoted to having cats i made it i got it this is the stanton <laughs> the stanton family it is a couple an old couple might i add you and there are six cats <laughs> i will explain this is cecilia this is Frankie. <laughs> this is Mr. Business. I did not edit Mr. Business. I let Mr. Business be as he came. And he came a little bit wonky. But that's how he is. And I can appreciate a wonky cat every once in a while. This is Obi. This is Mimi. Spatula. Rudy. And Gib. I don't like this house. This house, once again... This house is more of like a 2004 maybe 2002 kind of feeling not quite the 90s we're, we're out of that style but it's still kind of ugly you know 
doesn't look very good. Poor placement. I think I'm <laughs> I'm just trying to make an excuse for myself on why this looks so bad. I also just did not finish decorating this house. Like I had no motivation to finish this house. It's just so empty. Why is it spinning like that? It's just so empty on the inside. Now the kitchen. Oh my god, why does it look like that? At the time, this, I thought this was great. As you can see, I don't think that anymore. And it's fine now that I fixed that part. I gave them a little, little cat door. There's cat decor around. See, like, it's just so empty. Cat room's not empty. I finished the cat room. I was just so bored of this. Like, look at this dining room. It's a table, and that's it. It's just a table. And a weird porch on the front. Why? It's so sad. But it's okay. I might bulldoze that lot. I probably won't. But it is is—it is an option. Now this house. This last house I'm about to show you in Newcrest. Mwah. Incredible. Beautiful. Show stopping. Spectacular. One of a kind. Probably not. But to me it is. This is the Torres family. I love them. Their mother is so pretty. Selena. Louis. Alec. Ag Whoa, I say her name wrong every time. Ajanette. Ag ah, you get it. Luna. And Buzz. Oh, I forgot I could click on it. Toddler. Oh, small, small little ant child. Um... I actually got a lot of inspiration for this house from, I was looking at my YouTube, like, I guess it's like a For You page? Recommended, not For You page. <laughs> Jesus. And I saw um, a little Simsy video from, like, ten months ago, and it was the uh, trying to fit, like, eight Sims in a micro home, and the outside of this house is really based off of that. It's like, oh my gosh, that looks so cool. So I just made it the exact opposite what she was trying to do. And I was like, you know what? This this house is going to be for like seven sims. No. Can I count? Four, five, six. I was so close. Six sims. Including the dog. Six. And it's going to be like a neighborhood house. I really like it a lot though. I think it's very, very nice. I'm quite proud of it. I made like this little nice little small living room. I like small living rooms. It looks so much nicer. The space is perfect. This is a plant home, if you have not recognized. There's a lot of dog toys out. Not my house, not my problem. You know what they say. Bathroom, kitchen. Then the garage, which is like, it's fake. Fake garage. The garage is a lot. You cannot use that basketball goal. <laughs> There's no way you can use that. Then you got a back porch and so I thought that was a cat it's not but in my mind I thought it was a cat anyways baby room or I thought that this shelf was sideways I need to stop thinking that's my problem anyways office this is Selena's office let me specify that it's only her office <laughs> um bathroom big bedroom for the parents little landing um, what would you call this? Like a, not a guest bathroom, but, um, maybe it is a guest bathroom. This is the teen's bathroom and the teen's bedroom. Kind of a wreck, but I like it. There's a lot of frogs. I made sure to put a lot of frogs on, on the shelf. <laughs> I do not know why, but I thought at the time, you know what? Frogs are the perfect thing for the, just the decoration in this house. Just frogs. Frogs, frogs, and more frogs. You know? Okay. As you can see, I have filled up a couple of apartments. Just a few. So just a couple, you know? Just a few. No big deal. We'll start down here. This is Ga this is the Gallo household with Aubrey Gallo, a chef extraordinaire, but not quite yet, because I haven't played the sim in I haven't sent her to work or anything. So it's chef. Why are we zooming like this? This looks like the guy from Detroit Become Human. Alright. Zoom. I redid this apartment. I did this today, actually. 
I can explain to you guys what all I've done today. I've built... Let me think. Uh, I built the pool place today. I built two apartments today. I made two families today. I think that's it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Anyways, this entryway. Like I said, you will see those everywhere. Small living room, once again. Dining, I guess. Kitchen, I really like this kitchen. I like it a lot. Because it's not like solid. There's some depth to it. Weird bathroom that I don't like and I'm just going to ignore. Skinny bathroom that is really just useless. And a bedroom. Bedroom with the little desk. set. So Kind of nice. I want to go in and like show off all the sims as well. I like that. I think it would be cool. Sky Fitness. I have not been to that place yet. And it kind of intimidates me. So I probably won't. We will go here. Oh. Okay. I don't know why I said okay like that. I did. Okay. Let me think. How do I want to explain this? I wanted an opposites attract across the hall apartment what do you, what would you call this what would you call this um not interaction romance yeah either way that's what i wanted with this so i made these two this is evie and her cat pip and then across the way <laughs> we have kai and his dog baloo i will show you evie's apartment first I love Evie so much. I think she's so pretty. I'm a big fan. Big, big fan. Why does it zoom out so much? Jeez. Jeez. Okay. Uh. Entryway. Per usual. Little dining area. Small kitchen. Living room. Um. Office with a litter box. Bathroom. There's the entryway from up. It's got a cat tower in it. How nice. Big bathroom and the bedroom. I really like the bedroom because it's cluttered, but in like a nice way. You know? It's cluttered with a purpose. <laughs> cluttered with a purpose. Then next door we have Kai. I will show you as it loads. There we go. Okay. Kai's apartment, uh, the layout's a bit strange. Um, it's interesting. We got the entryway, we got a bathroom, we got a dining. Um, let me explain this, by the way. Uh, Evie is a painter, and then Kai is a musician. So, there's that. They're both in the arts field. Kitchen, place for Baloo because he's a big dog. Got a guitar, a little stage set up, bed for the boy. It's pretty nice. It was funny when I was making this, though, because um, I played as them for a little bit. <laughs> Just to, like, get the relationship stuff worked out. And in my mind, when I was making Kai, I was like, oh, yes, Kai is going to be very clean, very neat, very tidy. And within, like, five minutes of playing, this, this man's apartment was trashed. Like, it was so bad. It was horrible. It just, it didn't take any time at all for it to just go to crap. <laughs> Anyways, if we move on over, you can see I have, these are opposite apartments, but they're not the same kind of, not the same deal as the last one. This is the McLean household. We have their mother, Rachel, Robin, and their daughter, Melanie. Let me zoom to show you the inside. It's very nice. It's, it's really modern, which I'm not a fan of modern, like, um, like, decoration. So, like, sleek, black and white, things like that. But I sure do build using a lot of it, which is really funny. Like, I never actually build things in a style that I enjoy, personally. I don't know. Anyways, kitchen. I hate these lumps of clay, so I'm selling it. They make me upset because that's all the Sims want to do is just mess with the clay. <laughs> Living room. Whatever this kind of area is. Got a baby chair. I mean, high chair, and I got a baby chair. 
go up. Uh, the big bathroom. The big bedroom. Move this way. Small bathroom. Office. I made sure that Robin had like every award possible. And I thought that was really funny. Because originally, I was going to be like, oh yes, the dad's going to be super snobby. They're going to be like this rich family that lives in this big penthouse. And then when I got to making like the actual Sims... That didn't happen. I was like, okay, fine, then the mom's gonna be super snobby. <laughs> then that didn't happen, and they just turned out to be actually some of the nicest sims I have ever made in my life. And then my plans went to crap, but I still made him successful because he deserves it. This is the child's room. <laughs> it's really nice. I really like Melanie's room. It's very cute. Green, pink, white kind of look. I was originally thinking, oh yeah, I could put the bed under the window, but then I thought, actually, no, that doesn't seem safe. So in the middle of the room it goes. Kind of okay. These neighbors, though, these guys suck. They are the absolute worst. <laughs> they are the absolute worst. I do not like them at all. They're just so horrible. I'm not a fan, okay? I made these guys today, and I'm at their apartment today. This is... <laughs> we have... Oh my gosh. Okay, Athena, Chamberlain, Athena. I based Athena off of Draculaura from Monster High because I was like, you know what? It was an accident at first. And then like I, I gave her her hair that I wanted to, which was the pink and the black. I was like, oh my god. She looks like Draculaura. And then we just kept that going. Ramona, Dean, <laughs> they are um, Athena's partner love Ramona so much. I finally got good, like, POC CC hair, and I have been just abusing it, because I love it so much, because I'm finally like, oh, yay, this looks nice. Finally. It just took, like, a month to find good hair, but either way. But they have their little dog Pixel. This dog is not little. I don't know why I said little. This dog is not little. This dog is freaking huge, because it's, um, what kind of, what is it called? What is it called? What is it called? Uh, the, uh, the Greyhound. It's a Greyhound. The dog is large. A huge sunroom. There's a lot of plants outside. Um, Ramona is like a, not a DJ, but like a music producer. That's the right word. Music producer. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then, um, Athena is a fashion, like, person. I wouldn't say critic, but like a influencer. That's the word. It's kind of... It's an interesting house. There's a lot going on. It's you can you can see who decorated it. <laughs> it was Athena. That's who I wanted to have like the main decor be done by mentally. It's like, you know what? Athena would be in charge of this entire apartment because Ramona would not care. Ramona just wants their office to be left alone. So this is Ramona's space. Untouched. I got the master bedroom. I gave them little bears because I thought that was cute. And they're like, oh, yay, they got each other bears for something. And then I gave them a hot tub. Also, I, I thought of this and I was because I was thinking, <laughs> I thought about Romeo and, not Romeo, Nomeo, pardon me, and Juliet and how they have the flamingos in the movie. And I was like, I'm going to give them flamingos and I'm going to make their beaks touch because romance is not quite dead. Not yet. So. These flamingos, they're putting in the work, they're doing their best, and they are doing a wonderful job. We have one more house to show you. We? I have one more house to show you. I rebuilt Yugi and I's house. And I'm not saying rebuilt isn't like I changed the one that we had. I'm talking about I went to an empty lot and just built a new house. <laughs> I simply just built a house from <laughs> the ground up because I wanted to. As I do with most houses, though. Also, the new CC hair, really nice. After this, I'm going to go in and, like, show you all the sims because I'm so excited by them. I love putting detail in the sims, and I wish I had, like, better options for doing that. So, this is the home. This is what I was talking about when I said... It's in the same lot because it's the only lot I will live in. <laughs> but... This is the house I was talking about when I was like, yeah, I just don't understand, like, um, <laughs> the size of a sim compared to the home. <laughs> so, it's a bit large, but it's really nice. 
I put dragonflies in the pool. <laughs> I put I put dragonflies in the pool because I thought they would enjoy that. We'll start in the basement. Every house has to have a basement. This is the pool. <laughs> no one cares about that. Stairway. We got a nice gym. We got a lovely gym. We got a bathroom for the gym. Streaming room. Like just how we had in the last house. But just bigger. I will admit though. I like the streaming room in the other house better. But. We've, we've moved on. Then streaming room bathroom. It's always so hard for me to like move houses. In like Minecraft or The Sims. Because I get attached so easily to things. I'm just like, it's this, it's fine though. Just just leave it. No, I can't. I cannot. I'm attached to it. It's a building, but I still care. So we have a seating area next to the door. Um, another seating area because as I said, this place is huge. I have two autographs. I got them accidentally. So I just put them there. Breakfast table that they can't use plants coming through the wall just for good ambiance, of course. I like this area. I hate this area. <laughs> Kitchen got green cabinets because why would we not? Why would we not? I like this kitchen a lot. The kitchen is mostly just CC though, but that's fine. Dining room. This is the thing that I had on the wall in uh, Daniela and Connor's house. It was this. This little cabinet thing. But it's disappeared, apparently. I need to redo our couch because I found out how you're actually supposed to do the couch. Let me actually do that. Let me do that now. Sell, sell, sell. Okay, let me let me fix that while I, while I am thinking about it. Which one was it? Uh, yeah, you. Then we had the long pieces. So we need this one to match. Oh crap, I missed. I missed my turnaround. Yeah, now it's the sectional that I wanted it to be. It's kind of not fitting the way I wanted it to, but it's fine. See, now it's just off center. Hmm. See, now it's just kind of weird, but it's it'll it'll do. It's fine. Whatever. Bathroom. I really like this bathroom. I like it. Um, back porch. Yay. Uh, top porch, yay. Those little chess sitting area that I hope they don't use. Because I had this entire area open at first. And I was like, God, that is so much space. Please section it off. So we now have a guest bedroom that no one will use. I literally have the door locked. Because I don't want them to use it. I plan on filling up this wall and this wall with um, paintings that my sim has done. And so far we have a couple. Just a few. <laughs> this is Yiggy's bathroom. And then this is Yiggy's bedroom. Very green. Very nice. I think Yiggy's bedroom looks really good. I gave her the the face painting that she loves so much. Which I do not understand. I didn't know that we had two of these in this house until now. I also didn't know that they were both different colors. And that will just not work. This is my bedroom. <laughs> As you can see, there's a lot going on. Which is just the way I like it. This is how my actual bedroom is. Like, there's so much crap. But it all kind of makes sense. Like, we don't have a dog. But I have a dog toy. Just because I like to look at it. So I have it. Like, I have all this stuff. I just have so much stuff everywhere. And I like it. I enjoy it. I'm like a little gremlin. I keep things. I keep things that people give me or that I find. My bathroom. What am I what is this? Oh. That's kind of scary. Okay. Apparently my sim was painting something. Why does it look so scary? I gave Okay. I really like um houses that have like a it's like a really steep, slanted, like, wall roof thing. And I didn't really know how to make that in The Sims and make it look good with the style of house I wanted to go for. 
So I made the roof like this and I like it. I really like it a lot because it's just a glass roof. Funny thing though, like if this were in real life, I have the feeling that you would get sunburnt trying to sleep sometimes. So you would have to wake up at a certain time just so your face didn't burn. Or you would have to put your bed like in a super dark corner. But I'm sure there's ways around it. But let me show you guys some of the new CC and the Sims that we have. Uh, Yiki's Sim has not changed, I don't think. I think we changed a couple of her outfits. I think. Yeah, Yiki loves biker shorts. So I gave her biker shorts. So she could have those. Um, I think that's changed since the last time you guys saw it. We still have the matching outfits there. I think that's it on Yuki Sim. I finally found accurate hair for mine. This is... My... Okay, I said that last time with the other one, but this is legitimately my hair. Like, this is it. There is point blank, period. That's it. Uh, that outfit. See, see, I gave myself so many outfits. I love cardigans so much in real life. I love them a painful amount. A disgusting amount. That's how much I love cardigans. So, I was able to actually find one that doesn't look too horrible. Since my sim is, um... How do I say this? Um... Um... Curvier? I guess jackets and layers and things in the sims just look mm -hmm. huge see she agrees with me they just look huge so it kind of looks weird but from the side it looks fine my hands are clipping into themselves this I have an outfit just like this the pants I could not find matching pants colors like a matching pant color for the top but I actually have a sweater vest that I wear over a uh, like a white button down and khaki pants that I wear a good bit. So I thought that was kind of fun. That hasn't changed. I don't know if you guys have even seen that. This is a new outfit. I like it. It's cool. So, as you guys know, we have the follow goal for the YouTube video. And I was like, oh yeah, this YouTube video will be done uh, in real life. It'll be an IRL content video, which will be really, really cool. This is the outfit you can expect to see during that. Which will be quite fun, if you ask me. Mine, like, plus a crown. There'll be a crown as well. But, this is... This is what I will wear, basically. Imagine this shirt's a button-down. So you can expect that, so that'll be fun. I'm, I'm really excited about that. Pajamas... I don't think any of that. I ah, no! I don't like swimwear. Swimwear makes me uncomfy. Strawberry dress, but short. I like that. It's cool. Got that still. I think I added... Yeah, I don't really know how to feel about that dress. I like it, but I also don't. I love the cold weather outfits so much. So, so much. They are my favorites. They are my favorites. Okay, I need to show the other families. Uh, you guys know what Sybil and Ollie look like. We will do... We'll do these guys first. Bob so this is Ramona. I actually, I based Ramona off of someone that I know in real life. Because I was like, oh wait. This hairstyle reminds me of this person. I'm going to kind of base it off of them. So like their personality and like fashion sense is based off of them. Which is really, it's really cool. I gave them the down braids for their formal wear. Athletic. I think their athletic wear is pretty nice. Party, skip swimwear. Did I ever? Yeah, okay. Just making sure that's the one I wanted. I hate doing hot weather. Because it's just like shorts, maybe a tank top. Like, it's just weird to me. I don't like it. <laughs> this is room. <laughs> this is a thing that is sleepwear. As I said, I based Athena like really off of my monster hide all. So I was like, you know what? We're doing heavy makeup. We're doing a lot of accessories. We're going heavy with it. I love this hairstyle so much. I think it's so nice. 
Uh, athletic wear. Sleepwear, you guys saw. Part, okay. I don't know how to feel about this hair. I like it, but then I also don't like it because it just reminds me a lot of a zebra. And I don't know how I feel about zebras. I think it's negative. I don't think I like zebras. Hot weather. Athena's hot weather is okay. It's not my favorite. Cold weather, though? Beautiful. Love it. Dog. Pixel. Big dog. Pixel is a large dog. I forget how big animals are, like, in real life. And then I see them, and I'm like, oh. This is... This thing exists. Oh I did not know Aubrey's voice was that high, and I don't want Nessa it to be. Are Lower. 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 Look Lower. Good. Aubrey. <laughs> um... I was trying to, okay, let me explain this real quick. I had to do this because, let me show you, I have an accessory that is the turtleneck that you guys saw. It's this, but it's an accessory and it goes under your clothes. So if you put that under your clothes, then you just have like a bra thing on top of it. And I didn't want that because mm. I wanted to use an actual turtleneck. So that's why I have that. I don't really know how to feel about Aubrey's formal wear. I wanted him to be like a... Like, you would see a food critic kind of wear this. So it's kind of bland. But I don't know. Athletic wear is fine. Sleepwear. I love Aubrey's sleepwear very much. I like it a lot. I think it's very cute. Also, love her party wear. I, I love this outfit so, so much. Hot weather. Aubrey's hot weather is nice. And then cold weather. A classic outfit. A turtleneck sweater and some jeans. Skinny, of course. We'll do the Taurus family next. I feel like I'm just showing <laughs> and telling people. Which is fine. Why is Ajanet at the front? Anyway, I mean, whatever. Originally, Ajanet and Alec were, um, like, children. But then it's like, eh, children are kind of annoying. And they can't really do anything, and I don't have good clothes for them. So I was like, you know what, we'll just make them teens. So they are twins. They're supposed oh. <laughs> They're supposed to be teens. So this is Ajanet's uh, daytime wear, formal, athletic, mm. sleep, party, hot weather, and cold weather. I really like Ajanet's outfits. <laughs> I like uh, no no no. Why are we knowing? Sai, what's wrong? Sai, what's wrong? Welcome. Also, how are you? What's wrong? Are you okay? Do you not like Ajahn? <laughs> what? What? Why are you upset? Is it because I called you a lizard person on Twitter or asked you if you were <laughs> What's wrong? What? She was. Oh, it's okay. Uh, because I was bored. <laughs> That's why. I don't know. It's not anything. This stream's not anything super special. I'm just kind of speaking because I want to. That's all. That's hmm. all. You're okay. You're not missing anything. And if you think that you are, you can come back and watch the VOD. So, there's no there's nothing to worry about. I'm very worried. So don't be sad. It's just a Twitch stream. It's Jeez. It's just a Twitch stream. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> just come back and watch the VOD. Go get some rest. Get some good sleep. Get a good eight hours. Wake up. Get you some food. Get get a good shower. Get get some good clean in. Put on a nice outfit. Sit down. Watch the Twitch VOD. Have a good day. I think that's a perfect plan. You know? I think that's a perfect plan. Personally? Just saying. <laughs> two month anniversary out of anger? Wait, two month anniversary? Of... Of what? Of you being here? <gasps> Shawty. It is! Thank you for the resub, Sai. Aww. Aww. There are tears in my eyes, and I'm just gonna let them fall. And play my stupid little spake life game. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Sai. 
god! Anyways, Ajanette, everybody! <laughs> Hold on, is my... Did that just mess up my Chatterino? No, okay, I think it's fine. I'm gonna keep thinking that's fine. I hope you're not saying anything, Sai. Because if you are, we've got problems. Because I can't see it. I'm just gonna assume you're not speaking. Actually, okay, it's fine. <laughs> I kind of... I kind of gave the little life update more at the uh, the start of the stream, just because the past two weeks have been kind of rough for me, and that's kind of why I haven't been as active on anything, because I've had to take care of my in-person life first, and then get kind of like, get my mental and emotional health and physical health back up to the point where I could stream happily and have a clear mentality while I do it. Because I do this for fun, so I didn't want to, like, taint it. Oh yeah, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm good now. That's why I'm back. So I was like, hmm, I'm feeling good now. Let me come back. Yeah, I didn't want to taint the, uh, the good things with negativity, so I just kind of stay away from them. Until I'm ready to come back. So, it is good. It is good. I'm glad that I'm able to put aside time for myself when I need it. Because I know a lot of people and my past self wouldn't have been able to do that. So. <laughs> Growth. <laughs> Growth. It's really nice, though. I hope you guys can do the same thing if you're going through something like that, though. If you're ever going through something, take time away. Take a second and just stop and just kind of sit there and evaluate your life choices and stop thinking about things that aren't top priority for the moment. Like, I, I value Twitch. I highly value Twitch and the things that I do on here and the community that we have. However, I have bigger concerns. In the aspect of life as a whole, I have bigger concerns. That I need to take care of. <gasps> Wait, what? I'm in your poem? Really? Can I read it? <laughs> May I? Of course. Absolutely. Go for it. You can use the one I have on Twitch or you can use the rainbow one. It's up to you. I kind of want to change my profile picture on Twitch to the rainbow one because it's not actually like changing it. But I just like the rainbow look better. Because I did that for Pride Month. But then I was like, you know what? That looks so much better. So I just didn't change it. I didn't change it at all. Because I like it. So I kept it. <laughs> but yeah. Of course. Absolutely. I would like to read it if you were okay with that. Because I think that is very, very cool. Because I too like to write. I don't do it as much anymore. But I do enjoy it. <laughs> Anyway, oh, my voice crack. Jesus. Anyways, moving on to the brother. This is, oh, Jesus Christ. This is Alec. Alec is a Chad. He's the rainbow one by accident. Look at it. I forgot. Oh, no. Printed it black and white. Oh. It's okay. Hey, at least it's made with love. Like, you handmade that, at least. So, hey. There's nothing wrong with that. It's handmade. You did that yourself. Good job, Sai. I'm proud of you. This is Alex. Person. Formal wear. Athletic wear. Night wear. Party wear. I kind of just gave him the auto outfits because I was tired of building people when I got to him. This is their dad. This is Lewis. Oh, Lewis. Got the regular, the formal, the athletic, the night, the party, the hot, and the cold. <laughs> Lewis looks like my dad. <laughs> I said this when I was making him, and I was like, Yiggy, this sim I'm making looks so much like my father. It's like... Lewis and my dad could be brothers. 
But they're definitely not. Really? <laughs> Dad bought it. I know. That's what I was wanting, though. That's what I was going for. So I'm glad you see it. Selena? Selena is so pretty. I love Selena. I love her so much. She's so pretty. That's her every day, her formal. She's a critic, by the way. She's a critic. So keep that in mind. Lewis is a stay-at-home father. Because I thought that was really funny. American Instagram girl, no! Sleepwear. Selena lives in her sleepwear, and I could admire that. Party wear. Then we've got the hot weather. Where'd the hat go? Or is the hat only in swimwear? There's the hat. Nice little one piece. We got a baby. Yeah. <laughs> I said, we've got a baby. <sighs> Our sleepwear. We got everyday, formal, sleep, party, hot, cold. Then we got Buzz. Um, This is Buzz. <laughs> This is Buzz. He's a dog. Owa owa. You know how it is. <laughs> Who else have we got? Uh, you guys have seen those guys. Ooh. I've got to show you the McLeans. Narshkul Smeba, huh? When I was making Robin, I was like, at first, how he, like, how he was. What's the word? How he spawned, I guess. He spawned in looking a bit too familiar, so I had to change some things about him. You know, it was like I said when, it's like I was saying when I was showing you their apartment, is I was planning on making this man like snobby, rich, doesn't talk to his family. Like, I make lives whenever I make my sims. Like, I'm planning out their lives. I can tell you anything about these guys. And then it just ended up being like, these are, like, he just turned out looking so kind. And I was like, you know what? Never mind. I'll just make his wife like that. And then we got to his wife, and I was like, oh, she's just sweet too. And then the baby's also really nice. So they're just a really, really nice family, and they just destroyed my plans. But that's okay, because I would rather have them be this way. <laughs> Felix from the Walton Files. I haven't watched the Walton Files. I want to, though. I've heard they're really good. I've heard they're really, really good. I need to. I also oh. want to watch um, The Great British Bake Off. <laughs> so, as you can see, I have my priorities straight. <laughs> but yeah, this is Robin's everyday wear. His formal... I Once again, he came like this. I didn't bother to change it. KFC man. Athletic. Night. Party. Oh. Uh, hot and cold. This man's wife, Rachel, I love her. I would do anything for this woman. <laughs> the music! It's just, okay, anyways, every day, form, she's so pretty. She looks like Vidya from the uh, Tinkerbell, but she's so much nicer. She looks like your English teacher? Oh my god! I don't know whether to celebrate or to cry. Hmm. <laughs> got athletic. We've got the sleep. We've got the party. The hot. And the cold. I love her. I love her so much. What are you saying no for? Do you just have a horrible English teacher? Huh? This is, this is Melanie. Melanie's a sweetheart. Every day, formal, sleep, party, hot, cold. This baby's so nice. You're just scared, oh. A lot of my sims look like people. That sounds stupid. Let me. <laughs> A lot of my sims look like people that actually exist. And the thing is, though, it's on accident. Melanie? Yeah. Or Mulaney, however you pronounce it. Or however it happens. I guess. <laughs> Maybe. Doug, I'm not showing you guys Doug. Doug can die. I don't like Doug. And at, at the age he's at, he might. <laughs> this is the Stanton household. Um. They're old. This is Cecilia. Everyday. Formal. Uh, sport. 
Doug phobic I am. I don't like Doug. I don't I didn't like Doug when we made him. I didn't like Doug when he spawned in. When he came out of the womb, I was hating him. Sleep where? Party where? Yeah. <laughs> Hot weather. Cold weather. No this is Cecilia's yeah. husband, Frankie. They both look so miserable all the time. Yeah. It's so funny. Every day. Yeah. Formal. <laughs> that is true. Don't get never age. Never age, guys. Never age. <laughs> Athletic. Sleep. I don't know why I say this so like strangely. Party. <laughs> Hot. Cult. Let me show you the cats. This is Gib. Gib is a Maine Coon. I love Maine Coons. Never have kids as well. Facts. Never have kids. If you do that, why? 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 <laughs> oh, this is Rudy. We've got Spatula. <laughs> uh, Mimi. I love Mimi. Look how chubby. Oh, Mimi looks like one of my friend's cats. And I love that. Mimi, <laughs> said friend will send me photos of their cat. <laughs> All the time, and it's so nice. I just get cat content. It's so nice. This is Obi. I feel like these cats look just like their names, and it makes me really happy. Then we've got Mr. Business. Um, Mr. Business kind of spawned in like this, and I just left him. <laughs> he's a bit strange, but we love him. He's a, he's a bit weird. Pronoun check for The Sims or for me? <laughs> it sounds like a dumb question, but I need to know which one. <laughs> which one? <laughs> For me, I'm sorry, I'm just imagining you're asking what are Mr. Business's pronouns, and it's really funny. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, my pronouns are um, she, they, mostly. Um, I'm fine with any, as long as you are respectful as me of a whoa me as a human being i'm fine with any though but my man or she they as for my canonical character they she any so it's like the opposite but she they any that's pretty much it thank you for asking i appreciate it it's kind of weird because i don't think about myself as an actual person like i forget that i exist and that I have, like, what are they called? Like, I forget I exist in a way that I need to be spoken to using, like, pronouns and a name and things like that. Is that what that is? I don't know. That's why I'm kind of confused by it myself. <laughs> That's why I'm like, I don't know. Is that what that is? I don't know. But I forget I'm a person. <laughs> it may be. Derealization. I don't know. I've never looked into it. Because I don't... The last thing I want to do is like self-diagnose myself with anything. Because it's so easy to do. And then you just kind of trick yourself into something. And that I don't want to do that at all. So I'm like, I don't really know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I know that there's something, but I don't know what it is. I really haven't researched that at all. Like, why I forget that I exist. I just kind of thought that that was normal. <laughs> I guess it's not. Oh, no. Oh, no. Anyways, moving on to our next sim. <laughs> this is Kai. So baby hope. Kai looks like... Um, Adam Driver, and that is my favorite thing ever. Kai is a musician, for those of you that weren't here before. Every day, formal, oh. athletic, sleep, whoa, party, warm, cold. I love Kai, absolute sweetheart. This is his dog, Baloo. Like, um, Baloo, like the, uh, the bear from the, I almost said the jungle boat. That's just... <laughs> That's the wrong thing from the Jungle Book. 
Ah oh, yes, The Jungle Boat, my favorite movie. <laughs> Let me show you Kai's, uh, Kai's girlfriend. They live across the way <laughs> in the apartment building. Oliva Shyla. This is Evie. I love Evie so much. Ah. I love her. Like she's so pretty. She's so pretty. Like look at her. She's so pretty. I also realized I love making my sims like look angry. Kind of like their resting face. And then I realized, oh, it's because my resting face is kind of angry. Makes sense. <laughs> okay. So we have every day. We've got the full, this is like Met Gala attire, but it's perfect. Perfect for her. Athletic sleep. I love her sleepwear so much. Party. She's so pretty. She's my favorite. Ooh. I love her so much. Like She's precious. Hot weather and cold weather. We have the same. I didn't notice that we had the same um sweatshirt or sweater. This is Pip. This is her cat. Pip. Nyum. I love him. I love him. Love him so much. <clears throat> and then we have one more, I believe. No, we don't. That's everyone. That's all of the Sims that I've made in my time away. You know what? Now that I've spoken, I'm realizing that my Sim doesn't look angry enough. <clears throat> Hold on. I need I need to have I need to look at myself. I don't look angry enough. Something's wrong here. Let me fix that. Psst. Let me fix that real quick. Do I have any photos of my resting face? Yes. Come hither. All right. Wait, I've lost it. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I found it. My eyebrows need to be angrier and my eyes... My, like, what do they call Irises? They're more up than I thought that they were. Oh. That's not right. Um. Hmm. Mm, yeah? My eyebrows have a bigger arch than I thought that they did. Okay. I'm learning about myself. This is incredible. Yeah, it's more of a sharp kind of turn than a soft turn. Come here. <laughs> Come here, me. Come here. Okay. I need to, like, make them where I don't look sad. Oh, Jesus. Put that back. Okay. Can I... Yeah, bring them closer to my eyes. Okay, maybe not that close. Better. Okay, now go to detail mode. Bring... I don't want them to be smaller. I just want to move them upwards. Maybe if I shut my eyelids some. Now I just look bored. Well, that's kind of accurate. This is just Matt Chaotic not knowing how she looks for five hours straight. Or every day. Is that my nose? That doesn't look like my nose. It looks close, but not quite. I have a strong nose. <clears throat> strong nosed. I have my dad's nose. That's what I have. I love whenever someone <laughs> will like look at you and be like, Oh, you, you have this from your parents. And you're like, no, I don't, actually. You just have never seen my family up close. It was a good try. Don't do it again. You know? It's one of those moments. It's one of those kind of moments. This is, this is looking better. This is looking... Oh, God, I'm actually realizing. I'm seeing. For the first time, I am seeing. My lips come more in. Like, okay. <laughs> My top lip. Um, I have a top lip, but it's like, it starts, instead of like at the edges, it starts more of like a third of the way in when I have like my resting face. So it just kind of goes up all of a sudden. So like these little, e ee. 
these stop it those little edges they don't really exist but oh well it's fine <laughs> maybe I wish I had like a under why does my nose look like it has deflated some come out come outside don't be shy I won't bite that's a lie I will <laughs> I will maybe I'll think about it <laughs> maybe I'll be kind Okay, there's some actual... Let me... These go in. Okay. Not anymore. <laughs> uh, Too much. Do I have, like, a side? The side? What does the side look like? Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. That's actually way more accurate than I thought it was. Okay. Fair enough. Alright. I was gonna do something. What was I gonna do? I don't remember. Aww. <laughs> oh no, I don't remember what I was gonna do. <sighs> what was it? What was it? What was it? Crap. I cannot remember. Hold on. Let me think for a minute. Let me, let me marinate. the crap was I going to do? What was it? I don't know. <sighs> this is so sad. I've forgotten. <laughs> I forgot. I forgore. Oh no. <laughs> I forgore. Oh no. I don't remember. Hold on. Can I? Let me... I'm trying. I'm thinking real hard. Mm. Mm. It's not working. <laughs> what was I going to do? I think it was something along the lines of makeup. Like I was going to mess around with some makeup in The Sims. But I don't remember what I was going to do with it. Huh. Weird. Now I'm just angry because I can't remember what I was going to do. Hmm. Oh, Yugi told me when the next Sims sale is supposed to be. And it's Black Friday. And that's November. So that's September. Hold on. I have to sing the months of the year real quick. <laughs> January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. So that's like two months away. No. That's like three months away because we're only in the beginning of September. So that gives me three months to prepare. <laughs> to prepare myself because I want to get... Uh, What is it? What is it? What is it? Discover University. I want to get that for sure. Because that just seems like so much fun. That just seems like so much fun. I want to discover university. Heck yeah. Send me away. That sounds like great fun. <laughs> Let's go. That's, that's incredible. I want to go. I want to go to university. But there's also something else that I wanted to do. But I don't have a clue on what it was. I do not know. I simply just do not know. Hmm. Oh, well, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, one thing I do want to do now that I'm looking at this is, like I said at the beginning, I believe, of the stream, is I want to do a stream where we put other streamers in Del Sol Valley. Because that's like, like quote-unquote California, I guess, kind of, of The Sims. At least to me it is. It's like the California of The Sims, so. I want to put some... some famous people in there because the only time I visit Del Sol Valley is um to go to Studio PvP for like awards <laughs> and even then that's like twice three times maybe I don't travel much I don't travel much in person or as a sim which is kind of funny quite funny a little bit of a haha -ha moment, if I do say so myself. 
What time is it? Oh, no. <laughs> Clocks are my worst enemy. I don't like looking at the clock. It upsets me now. I should stop doing that. I should stop believing that time exists. I think by doing that, I will lose complete control. <laughs> but that's fine. Who needs that? I don't. Maybe I do. Yeah, we we need we need that actually. Never mind. Scrap that. Scratch it. Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm gonna send out a little little alert thing in the Discord and get some ideas for some streamers we can make. Cause I'm excited to start streaming again now that I'm I'm feeling a lot better. Cause guys, I had I've had a rough couple of weeks. I have had a rough couple of weeks. Um, it's weird, though. Because, like, when I was younger, this is part of it. You're back? Oh, good night, Sai. Good night. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Have a good sleep. Because when I was younger, though, um, I used to be really social, but then last, like, my last school year, I was an online student. Like, I did not come to school. Um, except for sports, which is... I'm fine in sports. I love my sport. But I don't know why I like my voice drops whenever I say sport. It's weird. I'm like, sports. I don't like that. But, um... I came back to in-person school this year. So... I don't know if it was because of... <laughs> Goodbye, not Cyanova. Ooh. But, um... I've always had kind of bad... Anxiety. And then as I've gotten older, I've developed social anxiety. So then I think with me kind of having a year to myself in my own space, then being thrown back into hundreds of people, that really elevated my stress levels and up my anxiety again. Because I was like, oh yeah, I'm getting so much better. I can, I can go out places now. Like I'm doing a lot better. And then I got put back into school and it was just like, crash landing it was so bad um but it it made me kind of stressed because I realized in a lot of situations that I just physically cannot speak and it's weird because I feel like for most people they struggle speaking in things like giving a speech um presentations things like that but it's weird for me because I've never had those issues. I can get up and give a speech, no problem, in front of people. I can give a presentation, no problem. I don't have that issue. But it's just, depending on the personalities I'm around, because I know that myself, I at least think that I am, like, a quieter personality. Like, I have, you have your loud personalities, and those are, like, people who... I guess are more popular in school like they they talk all the time you can hear them from a mile away you know those people those are louder personalities so I don't qualify myself as that because that's just not how I've ever acted really so I'm already a quieter personality compared to those people but especially when I'm around them like I cannot physically speak and I don't really know what that's about but it's interesting because I actually tweeted about it a couple of days ago. I think it was Thursday because I had finally gotten to where I had been super social that day. Like I had spoken um, in multiple classes. I had had a really great day like socially. So I was just, I was really, really happy with that because it hadn't happened in a while. But I don't know what that's about. So I'm trying to figure that out still currently, but that's, that's. It's kind of, it's weird. It's just weird. Like, I want to know why, but then again, I'm also kind of like, eh, do you really need another thing <laughs> to worry about? Do you? I don't know. Maybe. It would be, it would be nice to know. But that's fine. Aside from that, though, um, <laughs> let's see, when was this? Not this past Thursday, but last Thursday. So, back in August Thursday, the last 
Thursday of August. Um, I hurt my finger. <laughs> uh, I, I got a little. I got in a little accident, and um, there was a hole in my finger. <laughs> and the funny thing is, so it was the finger that I used to press the W key. Like if I'm like doing like the WASD kind of walk. No, no, no! Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just talking. I'm just talking, sir. Don't you worry. Don't worry one bit. I'm just talking about anything at this point. So it's perfectly fine. If you're if you're that invested, just come back and watch the VOD after you get some sleep. <laughs> That's all. But yeah, there was um there was a hole in my finger, and it was it's my uh, left hand like index not index finger sorry middle finger. So I can't I couldn't press the W key because from you know how your finger is like in three segments. Well, the top segment of my finger was the part with the hole in it. <laughs> and it was numb. It was completely numb for a week and a half. I gained feeling in my finger, I think, on, um, like, like, f quote, like, I guess, like, full feeling Wednesday. It's still kind of, like, tingly a little bit. So I really, I don't like how it feels at all. But... I can use my finger again, so that's nice. <laughs> that's another reason why I haven't been streaming, is because I've been like, I haven't, I haven't been able to use my finger that well, because <laughs> it just, I can't feel it. But it's, it's back now, so, yay. But yeah, there's been some other stuff as well. But it's, it's been an interesting few weeks. Haven't really enjoyed them the most, but they're over, so that's great. I'm excited, though, to start streaming again. I feel like every time I say, oh, yeah, I'm going to start doing da 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 I just never do it, which is why I don't, I don't like making specific plans for myself sometimes because it's hard for me to follow through with them when I have other things to do. So I'm trying to debate on what I want to do. I do want to do the streamer stream, the streamer stream <laughs> soon. Um... Need to do a Minecraft stream soon. That'll be fun. I'll do that at some point this week. We may do the Sims thing tomorrow. Maybe not. <laughs> we may not do it tomorrow. We may do it during the week. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> what else? Hmm. Yeah. I guess that's pretty much it then. I guess that's it. <laughs> All right. I'll do my normal little outro, I guess. If you are not following and you would be interested in that, go ahead. Go for it. It's cool. If you do, then you might get a YouTube video soon. We would probably already have it if I did not abandon the website for like a week or two. So I do apologize for not being active. I will be more active from now on, now that I have got things kind of under control on my personal life. So... That'll be great. What else? What else? What else? Oh, yes. If you do not hate my guts, you might even want to consider priming. Because, guess what, guys? Prime's 20% off. They are 20% off. And you know what that means? That means that you pay less money. And paying less money is great. Right? Because you're still stealing money from a bald guy. And everyone loves to do that. I know I do. What else? Hmm... I feel like I should start doing story times. <laughs> like it's late at night and I can just like get out a book and read nursery rhymes. What if I did that? <laughs> I can poetically read Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> twinkle Twinkle Little Star. How I wonder what you are. What else is there? What else? What else? What else? Ah, yes, if you are interested in joining a cool little Discord server, you should join ours. It's in the About Me section. There's also seven really nice charities over there that I do need to update <laughs> and add more to. Um, yeah, you, if you like to help help people and good causes out, go see those charities. Hmm, I can't think of anything else that I'm missing. I probably am, and I'll probably think about it soon. I'm like, oh, crap, I missed... XYZ thing. Whoops. My bad. But I can't think of anything right now. So that's fine. Yeah. 
This has been a nice stream. I'm glad to be back. Thank you so much for coming by if you did. And if you're watching the VOD, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I hope you have a lovely morning, noon, evening, night, day, <laughs> good time. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next stream, which will be soon. It will be very, very soon, okay? Goodbye. Goodbye. Go get some water. Go get some food. Go get yourself a nice little shower, a bath. Put on some comfy clothes. And have a good time, okay?